Uh, Connor felt it was coming. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. All right, today I'm going to talk about the big breaking news. The LSU Tigers have fired head basketball coach Will Wade after five seasons, um, pending this NCAA investigation that's going on. Um, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. <coughs> Excuse me. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos. So feel free to DM me. And whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come highlight at your ball. Also, if you're a Madden 22 player on Xbox One, I'm going to have my Xbox One gamma tag down in the description box also. Uh, well, here we go, man. Um, we figured at some point this would happen. You know, uh, a couple of years ago when we was the SEC regular season champs, uh, Will Wade got suspended because, you know, there was wiretaps of him talking about payments to uh, particularly Javante Smart. And, um, you know, he was by the last AD, Joe Levy. Will Wade was, was not fired, but he was suspended for the NCAA tournament. And then, um, you know, the following year, you know, Scott Woodward, uh, was it the following? I want to say it was the following year. Scott Woodward comes and, you know, he was brought back. Will Wade was, was, was retained. Um, he was not fired. He, he was still part of the staff, still the head coach. And uh, earlier this, like last week, I want to say there was reports came out that uh, the NCAA basically was on to something and basically let LSU know that, hey, it's very possible that really soon we could be laying a hammer on y'all because we have some stuff uh, on Will Wade well, as regard to recruiting violations. And here you have an LSU did, uh, Scott Woodward and LSU did what they had to do, and they made the move today, man, uh, the day after LSU loses to Arkansas in the SEC tournament, tournament's quarterfinals. Look, um, Will Wade, I think, was a, a great recruiter, whether he did it legally or illegally. Um, he got players here. You know, you think about all the players, the Nas Reeds, the Emmett Williams, you know, um, uh, the point guard, man, I forget his name, man, the, with the fro. <laughs> I forget his name. It's Tremont Waters, yeah, him. Uh, you think about Efton Reed right now. You think about, um, you know, um, Trenton Wofford, you think about Javante Smart. These are all players that Will Wade was able to get to this basketball program. Cam Johnson. Um, uh, and LSU has been competitive under Will Wade. First year made it to the NIT, coming off a disastrous year with Johnny Jones. And every year since then, we've been pretty competitive, pretty much, man. Um, you know, including the Sweet 16 trip a couple of years ago, second round trip, um, you know, last season. And then the one year we had the pandemic, LSU was a tournament team that year, you know. So he would we would have made the tournament in his last four years um, after the NIT in the first year. But, I mean, look, when the NCAA is coming down with, with, with you know, laying down a hammer when it comes to recruiting violations and things of that nature, as a program, you got to do what you got to do. Um, and it's unfortunate. I didn't think Will Wade was the greatest X's and O's coach, but I thought he was a pretty doggone good recruiter and a young guy who seemed like, you know, he was he was willing to be here. Like, he really wanted to be here and really build something over here, you know, in LSU. Now we got to turn the page. The problem is with this NCAA thing hanging over our head, we can't really get, like, really big names right now, you would think. Um, I think Kevin Nickelberry will coach the team in the NCAA tournament. It's honestly right now, it's a good chance he may end up being the guy next year, you know, until all this stuff dies down. Because you can't go after, I know the hot name out there is Scott Drew at Baylor. You know, um, like we got Kim Mulkey, we did, everybody's looking at Scott Drew. But honestly, right now, with everything going on with these NCAA potential violations, a potential tournament ban, um, if not, maybe not, probably not this year, but probably next season, who knows what they find and what they come down with. Um, you know, you got to kind of see what the NCAA going to do because any new coach going to want to know, like, hey, what am I walking into? 
Now, if this is a job that if it's probably a one year thing, you may still get the guy you really want to get. If he really desires, sees this job as a huge, huge opportunity, which I'm, I'm sure there may be a young coach or a, a good coach out there at a smaller program that may feel that way. Um, they may just be like, I, I'll get through this year or whatnot, and then we could have some real, real power here. Um, but, you know, next year is going to be tough because you already know Ty Eason is most likely going to the NBA. Um, Pinson and, and, and Days are going to be gone. And a lot of these young guys, uh, guys cut for next year and guys already on the roster, uh, especially in a free fall turnover portal like we got nowadays, you you would think that they they would leave. You would think they would leave, as you know, a lot of them are there far away. Away, so um, it's it's tough. We're gonna see what happens, man. As far as this NCAA tournament is concerned, and then after that, man, um, it's gonna be tough to see what where we go from here. First of all, what what type of punishment we're gonna have, if any, and then who can we still get in rear end to be the head coach of this this basketball team? But LSU has parted way, way uh ways with Will Wade. And, uh, you know, next step is to see the NCAA tournament and see who we're going to get to still want to come over here. Uh, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. We have LSU, NCAA, and content on my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.